Hi, how are you? This is Nikki Boo. How are you? Um, I was wanted to come to you and talk to you um, a little bit about my sexual experiences and how I became a very sexual person. Um, well, uh, it all started when I was about nine years old. Um, I came home from my cousin's house and I got a, a whooping from my mom. Um, because I wasn't supposed to go with my cousin to her house to spend the night. And um, it all started when I was crying and um, I laid on my stepfather's lap. And um, I was up underneath a blanket and um, he had just started like just rubbing on my breasts or whatever. And I'm like, all I knew is that I felt the sensation that I enjoyed, you know what I mean? And um, uh, I don't even know what made him do that. But I didn't know if it was right or wrong. I just know that it felt good. So um, it started from there, me being molested with by him, you know, from like about nine years old. Um, it would be him like maybe coming in and um, like taking my clothes down and grinding on me or something like that, you know. It was always me and my sister. My sister was like two, three years younger than I was. So it was always that we had to take a nap when my mom was at work or whatever. And she, he always made her go in one room and made me go in another room. And um, so, um, like I said, I always felt like it was something right. So I enjoyed him touching on me and kissing on me and stuff like that. I felt like... I was in a relationship with this man at being nine because it happened from me being like nine to 12 years old. And um, my mom, she never knew about it. So um, I didn't tell her about it. So I was like grown and I had like two kids. So I was like in my 20s. You know, we got into this big argument about raising kids and all that because my kids were running in the basement, you know, and she was talking about me not watching my kids or whatever. And I'm like, you know, you wasn't the best parent either, you know, and then I had to come out and just, like, you know, if you were such a good parent and I would have been molested by your first husband and this, this, and that, and she was like, you're lying, you must have liked it, how dare you lie on him, and this, this, and that, and I'm like, she was crying and being dramatic about it, but I'm like, I'm the one who's the victim, so, you know, um, like I said, I never told anybody, I was disgusted with myself, only because I felt like I enjoyed it. Like it was my fault, you know what I mean? But you know, I had some people tell me like, it's not your fault, you know, you was a young girl, you know, like nine years old, you didn't understand what was going on. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. I didn't understand what was going on. I just knew that I liked the sensation of being, my nipples being touched on. Still to this day, I love my nipples being touched on, you know, but, um, uh, he requested me on Facebook. It's funny, like, I'm like, how could you molest me from 9 to 12 years old and then go and request me on Facebook maybe, like, three years ago? He requested me on Facebook, and I'm like, <laughs> I just accepted him just to see what, you know, what his life was like, you know, it, it, you know. I accepted him, but then I deleted him later on. It's like, why would I have this child molester on my page? It's like almost saying like, I enjoyed it, you know. And then um, he told me one day we was at an ice cream truck. Like this is when I done grew up and everything, you know. Cause when I was younger, he told me he's like, when you turn 18, I'm gonna come looking for you and we gonna be together and all this other little stuff. So. I was like 18 or 19 years old and I got an apartment in the same neighborhood he had he lived and one day we were at the ice cream truck and I'm like he tapped me he's like are you ready for me now and I'm like I looked up him looked up at him like with disgust like how dare you say this to me this is something that I try to forget over the years and you just brought it back up and refreshing my mind about what you've done to me like you know what you've done to me it's like it's still in your mind that you've done this to me, you know what I mean? How dare you bring this up, me being 19, 20 years old. Like, so, you know, I was kind of pissed about that. 
but um let's see so yeah that, it kind of started off then you know of me being molested for me to be a sexual person because you know i love having sex you know what i mean and and I just feel like that's where it comes from, you know. Like sometimes, like I hear some women say when they've been molested, they kind of like not want to have sex anymore. But then, like some women that's been molested also be like, you know, it kind of pushed me more towards having more sex. So it's kind of funny, like you know, what I mean, sometimes it pushes people away from having sex, and sometimes it makes a person a very sexual person like me, you know. So. If you want to hear more sex talk, you know, subscribe, like, you know, comment, and we could talk more about sex talk. You know, this is my first video, so, you know, um, like and enjoy. Thanks.